Hello, Svengers. It's me, Svenny McG. Now, with Analog recently announcing that they're going to have for sale the Analog Dual. That is a Turbo Graphics PC Engine system that also has the CD attachment. So I thought now might be a nice time to look at how to store some of your games, specifically some of your loose ones. Let's jump in and take a look. All right, my friends. Now, if you're not familiar with the Turbo Graphics 16 specifically, this is what it should look like a case. It has the stickering here on the end. Turbo Graphics 16, Keith Courage in Alpha Zones. And again, it looks like a CD case, but check this out. When you open it up inside, there's actually a holding station here in there as opposed to the CD ring. And again, there's a little bit of a sticky here. It's all worn out, but it basically would adhere like that and then you can go ahead and withdraw your game now if you're not familiar the turbo graphics uses hue cards and all your game is basically printed right here on this little board so just plug it in and you're ready to roll of course here on the cd end of things you have your manuals giving you all the details here and of course this one looks to be a Canadian release, given that I have a French manual as well. All nice things, but unfortunately, it seems that these CD cases here haven't stood the test of time, because more times than not, I see something more akin to this. Here's World Class Baseball, and it does still have, thankfully, the manual. But you can see on the end here, it's missing any of the extra details. And plain and simple, you can see right away, it has a CD ring to it. So when I open it up, I can see it says compact disc on there. And when I lift it up, there's actually double-sided tape. Someone actually just took a scissors or something or a little Dremel and took out the CD portion in order to make this fit. Now, for better or for worse, it works. I mean, it's the same dimensions and the casing is really no different than the official one here for Keith Courage. So it does actually work. So if you're looking for something else, that's definitely an option, again, you know, check it out with the sticky tape because I have multiple games, all sports games. So I'm thinking this was all the same vendor, pretty close too. These ones have the same type of ends, but of course this one just broke right off. <laughs> but uh, same thing. This one just was sitting loosely in here and you can see there's the thing. It's just basically flattened. Whereas here with TV sports, again, it's in there, but it is so stuck that... In fact, this case, it actually stuck to the card. So, I mean, maybe not the best idea, but it's holding at least. You know, I'll just have to peel it off carefully. That's not the desired effect though. I wouldn't even be able to insert this into the system with that on the back there. This one as well, really, really stuck there. I feel like I'm gonna snap the hue card in half, li lifting it up. No, nope, there it is on the back again. So there's probably better adhesives, maybe from a little bit more modern time, but that works. Just again, be careful you're not going to damage your hue cards. Of course, an even better outcome would be to actually take this off and put the adhesives on the back here. If you had enough of these little plastic sleeves, then you can keep the cart in and just pull it out when you're ready to play. Another option is like my copy here of Hit the Ice. Unfortunately, you can hear it's still not that secure. Um, I got this copy and someone just pulled that CD tray out altogether. So again, I could put maybe a piece of tape or something to hold it, but otherwise it just kind of, you know, jangles around in here. So again, perhaps not the safest way to keep your media, but it's not going to do anything if you mostly keep it on the shelf. So that brings me to these guys. Of course, Bonk's Adventure, fantastic game. Sidearms here is a lot of fun as well. These ones I don't have anything for. I don't have any of the instructions, so I don't see the need to put them in a CD case. Of course, you don't want them just kicking around, floating out in the open. I mean, you could. It's not really going to do anything. You know, you don't want to keep them in an area with moisture to get the pins, maybe with corrosion or something, but otherwise they're fine. However, for the sake of storage, I offer you this idea here. This is an old course cassette tape, audio cassette, and with no instructions on it otherwise, I could always put an insert in and then mark off which game it is on here, but I find that the game itself, if you slide it in, the pins here that otherwise hold the tape in place will slide and actually just make enough contact with the game with the case basically sealed off here. So I don't want to you know, put any undue stress on here, but it's holding it directly in place. So look at that. 
pretty much the perfect dimension, the perfect amount of clearance there just to hold the game. So now again, my games are safely held in spot and if I wanted to, I could go ahead and put a paper sleeve or something on here, mark the games off, but they are safely stored and will be ready when I'm ready. Then if you're really ready to level up, you can go ahead and get yourself a little cassette holder, put your games in there safely and keep them for another time. Finally, one last idea is if you have any sort of a collection that you're keeping or of cards, you could always start yourself a binder of hue cards as well. Perfect size, perfect fit. How do you like to store your Turbo Graphics games? Let me know in the comments below. Are you going to pick up an analog duo? I always look forward to hearing from you guys and I appreciate anybody that likes and subscribes as you know it always helps grow my channel. Until I see you guys again soon, please take care and be good to each other. Bye now.